I've never cooked the duck. Usually it's mum's job. I'm planning on doing duck two ways. Pretty much how my mum would cook it at home. Then I'm gonna do maybe a mango ice cream. Well, ice cream last time was a bit of a disaster. I'm way more confident because I know I can pour off an hour and a half. I do have an ice cream on the way. Yeah? Um, really? It's just gonna be... No, uh, don't, don't, don't. I don't want to hear about it. I don't want to know about it. All right. He just looks at me going, you're doing ice cream? Really? Again? My Janice, but your duck hasn't even been attended to yet. What's going on there? Um, at the moment, I'm going to do an ice cream as well. Work with me. You may as well go oh home or go home. Oh my god. It's just mango ice cream with a bit of crispy duck skin. Oh, definitely taking a gamble today. I'm pretty sure it's going to be good. So I think he's going to be quite surprised when he tastes it. One of my breasts is looking a little bit straggly and I don't really want to use it as a duck breast, so I take the skin off it, roll it in glad wrap and cook it in a water bath until it firms up a little bit. David, you've made a duck sausage. Pretty much, yeah. but um, but it's it's quite fatty because it is the skin. I like duck fat. Do you like duck fat? I love duck fat. Yeah, I'm really looking forward to this. Thank, Thank you very, very much, Ren. These are little duck thigh croquettes with rice and orange and chilli, cooking in delicious duck fat, which is the tastiest fat on the planet, I think. I'm gonna make a little dollop of lovely bright green fresh pea puree. A bit of lighter taste and colour would be nice. When I open fresh up a duck's perfect. <laughs> but the sauce was quite salty. I wasn't too worried. I seem to have a really bad palate for salt, so I thought maybe it would be to their liking. Hey Ray. Hey Curly. I can see one, two, three pieces of duck. This one's gonna be shredded. Yeah. And I've pulled duck. You're pretty happy. I am, yeah. Good. <laughs> The pressure's definitely on. One single mistake can send me home packing. <sighs> Susha, what's happening, mate? Uh, the dumplings are stuck to the plate. I put some flour in there, but... Are you going to get there or what? Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely, yeah. yeah. Definitely. Bye. Mushrooms. Ah, making a mess. I'm about to put some sauce on, heat up my other ingredients, and get it all on the plate yeah. for you. You happy with the cooking degree of everything here? Um, I, I hope so. Yeah? There's nothing I can do about it now, so... There is nothing. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Step away from the bench. <laughs> it looks bad. The duck fell off the stack, so now it looks like a dog's breakfast. Nothing I can do about it. We're not allowed to touch the plate. So it's taking all my willpower to not touch it. That's the way that uh, the cookie crumbles. Or my stack crumbles. <laughs> I feel that I've done all right. It's different. I think it tastes nice. It's just whether or not the judges like it. <laughs> Fingers crossed. OK, Kelly will taste your dish first, please. I'm the first to go out for tasting. The duck's perfect, <laughs> but the sauce is quite salty. It looks good. Did you taste that sauce? It's really salty, eh? Really salty, like really salty. Mm. Why did you put it on? I don't know, because last time I had not enough salt in this time. Yeah. Oh. Man, that should not have been put on the plate. You could have just given me that and I would have been happy. The degree of cooking is good. I love your spices on the outside. That has no place on this dish because it is bordering. I, I think it's inedible, it's that salty. For you to know that and put it on, I reckon that's just bloody silly. It's just so bad. Yes, sweetie. about it. it was there it was done I couldn't change it I put up three whole dishes so hopefully the other two saved me Corona how are you doing I'm all right thank you do you want to explain your dish to me smoked duck breast with um, spicy Asian greens duck crackling on top and spicy mango and orange salsa I can't say I like the presentation with the mango <laughs> no, it's horrible I mean it really does look silly Plenty of heat going on in there. Mm. Duck just a little undercooked, mm. which really lets the dish down. All the other flavours are great. 
the flavor is nice, but presentation is catastrophe. I hope I'm safe, but I don't know. So I've got a tender duck breast with mango, pea mash, yep. crunchy cluster of um, thigh and leg meat. So hopefully that's a really crunchy texture with the, to go with the tender texture of the breast. What's through They're, the scent here? Those are mushrooms wrapped in silver beet, um, okay. just with a touch of soy on them. Yeah, I love what you've done, done with the duck on the scent. I think it looks, it looks absolutely fantastic. It's magic, mate. Oh, thank you. It's beautiful. It's a taste and texture sensation. You nail it every time consistently with flavour. It's well thought out as a dish. And you've brought us something that is what MasterChef is all about. Yet again, Aaron. Thank you. Give this guy a round of applause. I'm just sort of embarrassed, actually. <laughs> I mean, it's nice, but it's also sort of feel like the texture's pet. feels slightly awkward to me. <laughs> Hoping that this dessert will give like a salty, sweet, creamy taste. We've got duck ravioli, some mango tossed with Chinese spices, and then the ice cream is mango and orange with ginger syrup and crispy duck skin. <laughs> that is awesome. <laughs> The saltiness from the duck skin just works so well with the ice cream and I didn't believe for a minute it would really work, but it's actually really good. Well, I think it's a great dish. Thank you. Well done. Apparently the best is yet to come as well. <laughs> and that is banging. That is really delicious. I think you've had a sensational day in the kitchen. Well done. Thank you. Where do you think you're going with that? <laughs> Leave that there. We'll have that later. <laughs> So I'm putting the plate down on the pedestal in front of the judges and I look at the ground. <laughs> Did you have a good day? Not really. I was a bit confronted by the duck carcass. Were you pleased with how you rendered the fat? I tasted it and it tasted good to me. What do you see? <laughs> fat. <laughs> yeah. Well, all I'm getting is a bit of a muddy, ducky flavour. It comes to Simon's turn for tasting, and he just gives me this 100-mile stare. Last at least two minutes. It felt like two hours. I don't know. Oh. <laughs> I'm always looking for the good in a dish. I always want to find something good in a dish. And the good in this dish for me is that it's kind of like yesterday's fried rice that somebody's made and it wasn't that great and you've heated it up. I, I think you've had a really bad day. I know. I feel guilty that I've done something very bad. Pretty, pretty intense. Going into the elimination always feels strange because someone's going to be eliminated and that someone could be you. I'm a little bit disappointed in myself because there were Asian flavours. It just didn't really happen. If I go home because of that, then I probably deserve to. I'm really disappointed in what I did. I put up a terrible looking plate. So, yeah, I reckon I'm going home. Welcome back, everyone. Well, you all survived the biggest mystery box challenge ever. Your challenge was to cook a stuck MasterChef style. You all let your imagination soar and came up with a fascinating range of dishes. However, one of you will have to fly away home today. Well, it was close, but we've made our decisions. Janice, Vanessa, Ella and Aaron, step forward. You made your duck dishes fly. Your dishes were delicious. Beautifully presented, and most of all, the flavours sang. Aaron, you're proving to be a big fish in this pond. Good work, guys. Thank you. It felt really good. I tried really hard to show them that I did hear what they said last time, and I was very happy to have achieved that today.